Sup, friendo? Care for a loan ski? Hit me, loan tender. See, Adam, student loans help people. A lot of us wouldn't be able to go to college without them. Right, they're a necessity. That's why it's even more disturbing what they're doing to people. Chill, Sheldon, everybody's doing it. That's true. 42 million Americans have student loan debt totaling $1.3 trillion. <sighs> Brilliant? That's a whole lot of Pokemon Go coins. And student loan debt has become the worst kind of debt. Let me tell you a story. Before 1972, students could get federally backed loans to pay for school, but there weren't enough to go around. Please, sir, may I have a loan? All tapped out, sorry. But then Richard Nixon created the Student Loan Marketing Association, or as it's known today, Sally May. Now, Sally, your job is to buy loans from the bank so they can lend more, but Uncle Sam is watching, so don't be a crook. This system freed up financial institutions to issue more loans, which meant more students could go to college. Please, just one. Look, I told you there's no more. Whoa, thanks, Sally. The party's on. All right, uh, uh, loan responsibly now. Just loan responsibly. Seems like a good system. It was, but the party foul began when the government moved to privatize Sally Mae in the 1990s. I'm tired of playing chaperone. You're free, Sally. <gasps> free market. A compromise between President Clinton and congressional Republicans cut Sally Mae loose. Who wants loans, bitches? Now Sally Mae was in it for the profits, and profits they received. They made a fortune off of government fees. This chick is awesome. I'm gonna get loaned up tonight. Sally Mae poured their newfound wealth into projects designed to increase those profits. Come on, dude, she's not that shady. Oh, you'd be surprised. Fearing competition, Sally Mae started marketing like crazy. They paid colleges to drop direct government loans and sign up for their program. Hey, ditch the clown and this could all be yours. <laughs> huh? And sponsored cruises for financial aid officers. Oh. You boys have to come on my boat. Sally Mae even placed undercover reps in university call centers where they tricked students into thinking they were talking to college loan officers. You have got to meet this girl. She is so cool, and she didn't even pay me to say that. Sally Mae, really doing everybody dirty like that. I'm afraid so. And soon, students were stuck with the worst kind of debt you can have. Often, they're encouraged to take out more loans than they can even afford. What's happening? Don't worry about that right now. These are the best four years of your life. <laughs> yeah, I'm 17, I know what I'm doing. Hey, my payments are super low. I'll finish these soon. Sorry, you won't. No. Many borrowers have monthly payments that are so low, they don't even cover the interest. You could be in a situation where you're paying hundreds of dollars a month, but the amount you owe is still growing. Oh God, I can't keep up with this. One in four borrowers are behind on their student loans, and over eight million are in default. What? That's crazy. And here's where it gets really scary. Unlike other types of debt, if you default on a federal student loan, the government can garnish up to 15% of your wages, tax refunds, and social security benefits. Hell yeah, rent money, baby. What the? Sorry, uncle chooses where your money goes now. And if your parents co-signed your loan, their income can be garnished too. I'm sorry, mom and dad. I just wanted to go here because the school colors matched my fly knits. Adam, this is too much. We can stop. I want to file for bankruptcy. Oh. Sorry, you can't. Sally Mae spent decades lobbying Congress to roll back consumer protections. And it all paid off in 2005, when Sally Mae won their crowning achievement. Because now, unlike almost all other forms of debt, it is nearly impossible to declare bankruptcy for student loans. It's insane. You sign a piece of paper when you're 18, and you can get stuck for life. Oh, God, can I can't get them off. In 2010, the government finally cut out middlemen like Sally Mae, but it wasn't enough. A generation of Americans have had to financially cripple themselves with debt just to get the basic education that will allow them to survive in today's economy. 
That's nauseating. Yeah, it is. But let me tell you about a few things you can do to... Oh, I'm really mean that's nauseating. Oh, God. Oh, for once, Adam isn't the barf boy. 